Well, I've done some modifications to the still. As you can see, I'm not using ice anymore. I'm still running off of propane. But I have a new addition. I'm now using a pump. I'm now using my pump with the water bucket. I have it flowing properly. It's all working good so far. You know how these things go, right? Just when you think you got it perfect and right, yeah, something goes wrong. And so far, that leak's fixed in there. And she's flowing good. So, let's see what the heck I can get out of this today. It's a strawberry mash. Strawberries are generally the best. See if I can fill up one of these. When you don't have running water, this is the way you got to go. You got to revert back to the old days. The way the old timers used to do it. Only they'd use a stream. I'm using a bucket and a pump. I just have to monitor the, the temperature of this water here, which is nice and cold. So, it should be alright to regulate itself temperature wise. Outside temperature here today, I believe, is 30 degrees. And we'll look, see here. Yep. 30 degrees. So, I'm brewing some shine today. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's working just fine. As soon as the heads are off. I'll switch over to that container. Working fine. And with the gas, she runs at a higher temp. I don't know why. It just happens that way. With electricity, I don't. It runs at a lower temp. At least my bigger still did. I had a bigger still than this one in Canada. In Canada I had a two gallon still. Or one and a half. I ran one and a half gallon. This is a one gallon pot still. It's working fine. Working fine. Gotta love it. Well, this is working just perfect. Just perfect. I ran into one problem, easy solution. I had to get some ice to cool down this water. It was starting to turn warm, especially in there. This is the second batch I'm running. Doing fine. Doing fine. Those are the heads. And then I can run it off fine. Now the first run, quite pleased with, 375 milliliters. There we go. Three hundred seventy-five milliliters. And it's a good proofing. Yeah, that's some strong stuff. Yummy nummy. I've been drinking these recently. They're non-alcoholic beverage. They taste just like orange juice. They're pretty darn good. Yeah, I like them. So, no, I don't drink in the daytime. 
I don't want to do that. It ruins the whole day. So there we go. I'm using my Tandoori rum bottles. Good glass bottles. To be able to store the moonshine. That's the strawberry. Inside there is the grape. Let's see what I get out of this one. Well, this works great. I am really pleased with it. Now that I've worked it all out and stuff. Look who came for a visit. Bob's here. Bob's having sardines. Mmm. Yes. Say hi, Bob. <laughs> he says, don't bug me, I'm eating. So this is what I got out of this. I'll show you. Two 375 milliliter bottles. That's the strawberry. That's the grape. And a little bit extra. So, that's enough to keep me going for a long time. This stuff is powerful. I won't drink all of that at once. Okay. I gotta break this down now and clean it up. And then, uh, I guess I can't start another batch until Sunday. There you go.